Hello, and welcome to Monday of Holy Week. We're glad that you joined us today and hope that you have a good experience uh, in this brief time of worship together. Today we'll be using the uh, setting of morning prayer that comes out of our, our hymnal. It's a mix of both uh, lessons and also some sung responses. So let's begin. Son chose the path that led to pain before joy and to the cross before glory. Plant his cross in our hearts so that in its power and love we may come at last to joy and glory through Jesus Christ our Savior and Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit one God now and forever. Amen. The first reading is from the 42nd chapter of Isaiah verses 1 through 9. Here is my servant, whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry, or lift up his voice, or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, the new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Here ends the reading.
to John, the 12th chapter. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. They were to give a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of, of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not really because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal from what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and believing in Jesus. Let us pray. Gracious God, it is good for us to gather as your beloved community. We treasure your presence within us in word and meal, song and prayer. Be with us in these days when gathering together as often as we would like is not possible. When we must be apart for reasons of safety, we trust that you surround us with your sheltering wings. Encourage us in connecting as we are able, reaching out to our neighbors in need, and being persistent in prayer. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our constant companion, Lord in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Merciful God, your healing power is everywhere about us. Strengthen those who work among the sick, Give them courage and confidence in all they do. Encourage them when their efforts seem futile or when death prevails. Increase their trust in your power, even to overcome death and pain and crying. May they be thankful for every sign of health that you give and humble before the mystery of your healing grace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen.